Once upon a time, there was a family of foxes who were all preparing to leave their den. You know what? This would sound better as a rhyme. Um, <clears throat> boxes, foxes, foxes. All right, let's do this. Once upon a time, there lived a family of foxes who were all quite busy packing up boxes. Guy Fox was the oldest, so we'll start with him. Unfortunately and sadly, he was really quite dim. Megan was next, a fox to be sure, whose legs went all the way to the floor. Jamie was the youngest and seemed in distress over the upcoming move and the change of address. The parents were off saying goodbye to their neighbor, leaving the kids to work because free labor. I don't want to move, said Jamie to the others. Whatever, said Guy, who secretly wanted brothers. Megan looked up and with a tear in her eye, if mom and dad move, I'll like totally die. But they had retired and so they must go to warmer weather, devoid of all snow. It's just part of life, they said to the kids, like death or taxes or hard to open lids. So rhyming is tough, I've learned just this minute. So I'll turn it over to the kids and let them begin it. Why are they selling our childhood home? I mean, Jesus, come on, throw us a bone. The least they could do is leave it to me. After all, I'm starting my own family. Hold on a second, let's not jump the gun. I think I should get it, I'm the eldest son. Guy, don't be dumb, that's not how it works. You're confusing mom and dad with those Game of Thrones jerks. Please stop fighting, you're making it worse. At least they're not leaving the house in a hearse. But it's our childhood home. It's special to me. Right here on this couch, I lost my- Please stop! No. Nope. Nope. As you can see, they're not taking it real well. The reason for that anyone could tell. To leave behind the place where you grew, it's out with the old and in with the new. They packed their bags and breathed heavy sighs. Understandably, for no one likes goodbyes. There was no denying it. It was moving season. Guy waved at the wall for some unknown reason. Goodbye, wall. I'll miss you the most. Goodbye, cellar, with your strange racist ghost. I still can't believe it. It's all happening so fast. They're throwing our memories out with the trash. This house was our home all through the years. Now we're left with nothing but heartbreak and tears. Guys, it's Pierre the Friendly Dinosaur. Remember the scaly large green connoisseur? I think you mean carnivore? No, no, no he's a connoisseur. No, you like carnivore. ate meat. Like, no, no, he right. definitely was a connoisseur. I Carnivore. specifically okay. remember him being a okay. connoisseur. Okay, okay. Dad won him for me that year at the fair. It was mom, dad, and me, and you two were there. Okay, whatever. What's the big deal? That memory, it's a good one. Got me right in the field. Hey, look, there's my skates from my years playing hockey. But you're a girl. He and I, bro, but don't get too cocky. Eight years on the ice and I did all right. I could still kick your ass if it came to a fight. Guy, take a look. Maybe you'll find a memento or trophy of a happier time. What's that? Something that makes you feel inspired? What? No, it's an envelope. I guess it's required. Oh, here's something. An ook I used to play. Honestly, I thought Dad had thrown this away. An ook? Call it by its real name, maybe? I would, but not a lot rhymes with ukulele. All right, that's cool. You all found some junk hidden away in some old beat up trunk. Don't you see? Don't you get it? This matters to me. And also, the house wasn't in the memory. I guess, I suppose. But I'm hard to convince. Perhaps if you had more evidence? All right, well, what about my memory, Dink? I wasn't skating in the house, I was down at the rink. Or that great time that me and Dad got to bond, we went skating out on Uncle George's pond. Well said, Megan. You've made quite a statement. Guy, what was that about a ghost in the basement? Super racist. I can't even repeat what he said. It's funny. I didn't even know Donald Trump was dead. But about this sweet instrument so important to me. Reminds me of the greatest memory. Long days in the sun spent out on the beach with my ook and good music that our father would teach. Here were three siblings, all sad on this day. Now listen to learn what the fox has to say. This house might be full of boxes, but really it's empty. The greatest thing it gave us I'll always have with me. The laughter, the memories, the happiness sound will always be with us. Let's burn this thing down! Oh, no, 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 no. no.
that's no, not, that is not a good idea. Really but really, I'm happy, Lil Sis, for the lesson you've given us. Now let's get out of here. This narrator's ridiculous. And so now to the moral before we must go. For this is a fable, if you didn't already know. A house is four walls with some things in between, but a home is different. What's that supposed to mean? Memories are made within and without, but the love is what matters. Believe me, no doubt. Family is family through the thin and the thick of it. And if you didn't get that by now, you're a f***ing idiot. Let me start again, and I'll take it back, my friend, to a day when everything seems so easy. Spending time with my friends and my family, pay close attention to my words and my melody. The greatest gift we have in life is a memory. Hold on to the moment before it's in the past. Take it all in and you'll find that it'll last. It's the moments, not the things that'll matter in the end. Trust I speak from experience, my friend, don't let life pass you by when opportunity knocks. Appreciate what you've got and you'll be a clever fox. That's the moral of the story, love life like you mean it. Now does it.